We just paid $1,300 for this storage unit behind me. We've already pulled out more value than that, and we haven't even made a dent. I think there could be $20,000 in here. We're about to keep digging and find out right now. Let's do it. We ended part one with a total value of $1,310, so that's where we're starting, and this one gets even crazier. Let's bring this big, whoa, this wood thing's about to fall apart. Damn, that box just attacked me. You saw that, right? Caught that on film. Why is this so heavy? What is this? a mailbox. Is it? Oh, it's a sewing it's machine, a sewing isn't it? Machine. How do I even open it? It's rusted shut. Look, this is supposed to turn, but it's completely rusted shut. But originally, that was some kind of sewing machine, like you said, in there. But I don't think I'm going to be able to even open it because the box is destroyed. Let's see if the box that assaulted me has anything in it. Or it actually has what it's supposed to, doesn't it? There's the coffee pot there. There's a dead mouse. Look at that. Poor little man. Poor little man. He didn't make it. So we're just gonna put this back in there. And yeah, that box is going to the garbage. I got a milk crate here. Looks like there's some glass bottles in it. Let's see what these are. That one's thick. That looks like it could be older. It's actually labeled. It says charcoal distilled straight bourbon whiskey, 86 proof. That's an old bottle. Ooh, there's something, there's something in there too. We're gonna wait. In here, these are a bunch of jars, cans, all old looking though. This little piece here, this looks like a Crown Royale thing almost, doesn't it? But oh uh, look, it's something in Seattle, Washington from seven, 1976. Then, look at this guy. Oh, it's like some little kid's railroad track thing, isn't it? Probably a whole track that goes together. Got a little cardboard box here. Let's see what's in this guy. Now that I've seen a dead mouse, I'm just waiting for a live one to attack me. It's gonna happen at some point in this unit. I guarantee it will happen. What is this right here though? Whatever it is, it's got something spilled on it. What? Open up. Oh, it's got somebody's face in it. This is somebody's like graduation thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. pictures, diploma, and everything like that. So we'll leave this behind so hopefully the owner can get it back. And if we go into here, um, what is that? That's just like a pair of Paw Patrol or something. Then in here is in here. Ah, these are like plastic tops or something. So that's just junk. Let's get this red back Ugh. here out. I'm gonna drop it a couple times. So I wanna get the mouse stuff off of it. The only downfall about this unit so far is that it was outside. And outside units most likely have mice in them at some point. That's why anything that's not valuable, we're probably gonna put in a trash pile, like these clothes. These uh, these are actually smell clean like detergent, so these might be okay just to donate or something. But if I see any mice stuff in there, they're just gonna be thrown away. But based on what I'm seeing, no, they look pretty clean. Well, I got one of the black bags out because this one definitely does not look like clothes. So let's see what's inside. Oh, look. These are some baseball cards. What's it say? Check these to see if they are a series, series or, or not. Set. Yeah. So these are from 1995. All right. We're going to keep the stuff they have packaged together because they probably know more about whatever it is than I do. What are these? Oh, it's coming out of the paper, whatever it is. I'm pulling it right out. This is what Kate Greenway antique embossed cutouts. Okay, so these are like, look, this one says late 1800s. Let's flip it around. Oh, look at these. These are very old. This one, 1973. 1994, that was a legendary year. I bet you this one's worth extra. Mm -hmm. This one, this star princess, look at that. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can pull out some of the really old ones in the back there from like 1800s. 1930. 1975, antique doll cutouts here. What is this one? Exa uh, this is Museum of the Late 1800s. That's cool, that's really cool. And you can see they wrote on the back of some of these, like this one. Look at the front of that. That's cool. This is apparently from, uh, this one doesn't have the year on it, does it? No. What about this guy here? This one doesn't have the year on it either. But no, it's but it, really no, it old. It just says replica of antique original. So it's just showing you like replica clothes. What but I think they're like cut out. So you can like pull it off the paper. That's cool. These are really cool. This one is the one I was looking for. Look, late 1800s in that one. That's definitely super cool. I bet you these have some real value. If I look further in the bag, I also see these bags full of like old baseball cards. But again, a lot of these are single. Look at that 1937 manager Steve O'Neill with Bob. So some of these can be very old for sure. Check these guys out. What is this guy's name? His name is Bob Veal. Does it have a date on the back of that card? It looks like it could be really old. It doesn't. So I have no idea what year that's from. If you know, let us know down in the comments because it does look old. This one's a completely different size, but it's Nolan Ryan, so I know it's not too old because I know he's still pretty relevant. I don't think he plays, does he? No, I think he retired. Okay. This card has one of 2,000. Okay. It's a rookie card for Todd Walker. 
So some of these could really be valuable in here. No idea based on all these cards. Let's see what else is in here. We have batteries. What is that? Oh, we gotta find out. Let's dump it out. Oh, there's what? That looks like a safe key. That looks like a safe key. We're gonna set this aside in case we find a safe later on in that unit. But let's see, if we go in here further, look, there's more baseball cards. I'll look at these. First printing is what these says, and these have um, 1971 on them. There's a lot of cards in there, so I definitely think we got some value here. There's another one. What about over here? Oh, Dodd Mattingly. Look at that, an old Yankees card. That's pretty cool. If we go further, I think that's just about it, except for this weird painted rock with a duck on it. That's value. Let's go to this white bag here and see if there's anything interesting in here. It looks like, ah, that's not what we wanna see. These are dirty dishes. And they're nasty, so I don't understand why people don't wash their dishes before storing it, but that's no good. Uh, what fell out of the bag, actually? These are just a couple DVDs, and that's actually a Yeti right here, but again, look, it's got like coffee stains in it. But you see what I did miss over here? Uh, look at that, a 1994 Superstars old school Matchbox car still in the box. Soon as we turned that freaking camera off, this box literally attacked me. And let's see, it says it's a helium tank, but we don't know if that's really true or not. They could put anything in here. So let's find out. And if it is a helium tank, it's actually worth a decent little amount. That's exactly what it is. Oof, brand spanking new too. Look at this. Nice little, oh yeah, balloon time, helium tank. And it even comes with a couple bonus balloons. Got another cardboard box here. Oh, that sounds like kitchen stuff though. Let's see if that's the case. Yeah, it is gonna be the case, unfortunately. It looks like a bank though, but there's no money in it. Where's all the money? Ew. Look at these little itty bitty cast iron pins. <laughs> You what is that, one egg. one egg? I know the brand on them is Lodge. So you guys let me know. I know a lot of you guys say cast iron can be worth good money. That one, I don't know. There's a big old jar. Here's another couple cast irons. Ah, come here. These are like more so pots though. But this whole set here, same brand, yeah, Lodge. So I think this is one whole mini set. Let me know if you think it has value. So I got a little tote over here. Let's go through this real quick. All right, big bag of pot. What does that say? Format door wheels. Four front door. Let's see. Oh, it's a reef. From the front door, I guess. Then we go here. Well, we got a lot of VHS. Caillou. Remember Caillou Duty? Mm -hmm. Powerpuff Girls. Random VHS. What is this guy? This is what I'm curious about. It's an old scale. Look at this guy. That's an old antique thing right there. Look at it. it actually, still works too. I wonder where you're that from. You think it's eight on the bottom? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, what's this tag? That just has the name of the company too. Well, there's nothing to say how old it is, but I definitely think it's antique. This is pretty self-explanatory. This is a Coleman four-person tent, and it's most definitely in there and still wrapped up, so that's an easy 10 bucks. Let's go to the little white box here. It says Dalton stuff. I'm pretty sure Dalton stuff is where um, the video games were at last time, wasn't it? Yeah. I think so. They were under Dalton. Oh, this is Dalton bathroom stuff though. <laughs> this is all soaps right here, but I don't know what's in this little baggie here. Let's see. Is that like, they're just like tissue paper for some reason. Anything in there? Because a lot of times people put jewelry in here. Look at these pipes. I think I see some kind of jewelry. Do you? Oh, we're going to dig through here. I'm going to put these pipes. Oh my gosh, that looks like something Popeye would smoke. Now these are collectible though. These are yeah. definitely collectible. Oh yeah. There's some glasses. These are Rockaware glasses. Nice, but I'm going to put the pipes over here. More pipes. More pipes. Is that another one? Oh yeah, we have a whole set of pipes here. What is this though? Is this jewelry? What are these? I can't tell. We're gonna have to open the bag, huh? Yeah. Let's pull it out and see. You know how hard it is to open a bag with gloves on? It's actually really complicated because I can't feel for anything. These are little spoons, actually. Yours to remember. Some of these could very well be silver, too. Like, you see that one, too? Mm -hmm. so we're definitely gonna set those aside. Here's some spoons here. It says um, Delco on it. Usually, if they're sterling silver, it'll be stamped sterling or 925, and I don't see anything on any of these, unfortunately, so. I don't think they're gonna be. Set them aside. That's what I saw, this right here. Ooh, what is that? Come here. I thought what, it was What is that? But... <laughs> That's a big old like bronze or copper piece there. Yeah. That's pretty cool. This, that's nothing. What about here? Let's keep going deeper. Like this bag, Spider-Man, is that what it is? It's like balloons. Uh, that, that's exactly what it is actually. It's like deflated balloons. Maybe somebody cat them out for like a birthday. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, that's not a pipe. This one is what I thought I was picking up. Another pipe, we probably have 10 plus pipes there. Mm -hmm. Definitely will be a lot for sale. Collectible pipes again. On where? What not? <laughs> Make sure you follow in. Check that out. Two more pipes right there. 
And what about over here? Oh yeah, look over here, there's more. Oh look, look at that. Looks like one of those old school cash bags. Oh, there's definitely something in there. We're gonna get that in a second. Oh, a key. I'm again. sorry. But look, another pipe. Two more pipes. I mean, I think these pipes are worth a few bucks at least a piece, and we have a lot of them. There's a, that's an old school Coca-Cola keychain. Look, genuine pewter. That's money right there. And this, let's see what's in this little bag. What is that, that first? Oh, that's just a little hanger. I'm gonna open this little bag though, because I gotta see what's inside. Come here, come here, come here. What's in there? Stop. That was the storage manager that just creeped up on us like that. That was weird, but <laughs> this is what was inside of that box. I don't even know what that is. A pin maybe? Mm -hmm. Or not box, I meant the bag, this little bag. Yeah. That's what was inside of it. It looks like it could potentially be gold. If someone knows what that is, let us know in the comments. So I was throwing clothes bags like that one. I picked this one up and it obviously wasn't closed. And the first thing that fell out was this um, Harry Potter wand. You see that? Yep. Still in the box, brand spanking new. And then this, listen to this. Something's in here. We're about to find out what that something is right now. What the heck? Those are tacks. These are a peg. This right here? What the heck are these? Bingo? Bingo, yeah. They look like bingo. So this might be a bingo <laughs> set, huh? Oh, there's a Sharpie, a bunch of Sharpies. There's something big back here. I feel it. I just don't know how to get to it yet. How do we open that section of the bag? You see a bigger section somewhere I'm missing? Uh, does this open up here? Oh, it looks like it, yeah. Does it? Come here. Come here. Open. There it is. That's what we want to see. Shoe polish that, and just a metric crap ton of tape. Why? Oh, here you go. If it was Halloween from like, hmm, how much? Somebody want this in the comments right now? It's probably one of the nerds date on them. Oh, there you go. It's only 2002. It's 21 year old nerds. They're probably still edible. We can auction it. There you go. Who wants some old nerds? This one, these are, those are um Orbit. That's how they used to come. Uh, then what is this? Why is it packaged that way? I don't know. This is just a weird bag. Tape, expired candy, tax, and bingo markers. That's weird. Let's go into here really quick. Let's see if there's anything else. Cause that was just what fell out. Um, let's see, not seeing too much. Random, like there's some uh, magnets for the fridge. What is this? A little Yahtzee game. This? Oh, look, a cake topper. It's kind of weird looking, but cool. Uh, there's McDonald's cups, like a whole stack for some reason. Yeah, the rest of it just looks more like junk. You know what I thought this was at first? That looked like this size. It could be like a little shotgun box or something, but it's actually a two foot by six foot baseboard heater. It says energy efficient. We're gonna make sure that's what it is because you could definitely fit a little shotgun or something in here. Let's open it up. Well, I'd like to, but I love to make a little challenge here. There it goes, look at that. Brand new. Actually brand spanking new. I bet you that's worth some good money. So this unit we bought was at a live auction. This one was sold two doors down and we just walked over. We didn't buy it, but I just saw this on here, look. Hey, this is my unit. I wasn't aware it was getting auctioned. I was wondering if you'd be interested in selling me back a few sentimental items I have, and I'm just covering up their number right now, but <laughs> now it makes me wonder, because that one was like 85% empty. That's why nobody bid on it. I think somebody got it for like 10 bucks, but now I'm kind of curious what's in there. So I'm moving some more junk out, and let's get this bag fell down. Definitely something in here. We're about to find out. Let's see what it is. Open up. What the heck? Oh, it's toys. That's Wolverine in there. You see that? Wolverine and some really old looking robot. Does the robot have a date on them? 1996. That's cool. Oh yeah. This is why we check everything. Look, these are Transformers, I think. Maybe. They're definitely old toys. Whoa. It's hard to see some of them in the back because they're black glares. But look at that. That's what these all are. Can you see that? I'll take this one out. Just so you can kind of get an idea what they all look like. I don't want to take them all out because then it's annoying to put back. But here you can have a little idea what he looks like. Try Ceratops. Does he have a stamp on him? Not that I see, but I'm gonna put him by his bag. What is all this here? Oh, these are the backs. There you Aww. go. So they're taken out for some reason, but these are all the backs to the Transformer toys. I don't know if somebody would buy these or not, like collectors, but they might, but we'll keep them. There's that. These so I guess if they look even older though, don't they? Yeah. If they had a shop, maybe they kept them so they can glue the thing back on it. That's very possible too. There's a lot of other um, backs in there, like backs to the figures. Look at this. An okay. Optimus Prime like tractor trailer. Is there a figure in there? There is, but he won't come out. Can you see in there? No. He's, no? <laughs> He's definitely in there. I don't want to break him. Oh, there he I goes. Believe you. Come here. He turns into, I don't think he comes out. He oh, turns that's his into legs. It. I'm smart. <laughs> and then if you look in here, look, there's more figures down here, more old figures. There's more cardboard pieces. 
There's even older cardboard pieces in the bags and more figures. That's definitely a super cool bag that we're keeping. So we were going through the back of those boxes and look what we found in here. These are 1985 Transformer the Movies cards. And that was in the same bag with those action figure packs in here. So they not only are there old figures in back, there's also old collectible cards in there. So a banger of a little bag. Now that we move some trash bags out of the way, look at this. Balls, banks, bike stuff, Legos and Legos trucks. That's extra stuff. This one says Sports Illustrated and Beckett. So that's probably sports memorabilia right there. I say let's get this one. This one just says odd plus end stuff. So just odd ends. Ugh. Let's, oh my gosh, there's so many boxes back there. We have a good unit here. Let's see. What you got odds and ends wise? That's not good stuff. Mm -hmm. We have very different definitions. Oh, maybe below it is. These comics? Well, these are old Sports Illustrated though. So let's get these out the way first. Get these magazines out. The this right here, what is that? Needs bigger plastic bag, you think? Yeah. I agree with you. 1997 Bo Peep song. Then this one right here is a old Sports Illustrated magazine. And then, hey look, Horton hatches the egg. Some old Dr. Seuss in there too, that's cool. Oh yeah, like these, we should probably hold on to because some of these are gonna be valuable, I think. Some of these old books. Look at that old Care Bears and stuff. Yeah, some of these are gonna be cool. We're gonna set them right here. Let's see what else is down there. More of the same. Yeah, kind of, that's an old menu, why? I don't know. Random, but yeah. Other than that, the rest of it's just books and paper. There's a gun right behind here in the side. Look at this. Gotcha, don't lie, you were excited, weren't you? But I did find a broken Nerf gun. But what we did find, it was interesting. Look at this. This looks like a trigger lock for like a pistol. So there is a very good chance that we're gonna find one back there. I really think we are. Check out these two like Native American figures we found here. This guy still has this price tag right there for $140. This one here doesn't have a price tag on them, but I'd imagine they gotta be similar. Probably $200 in just porcelain figures. I usually don't go through like what looks like kids toys like this. We usually just donate or throw away if it's dirty. But I think this is a, yeah, that's definitely a Cabbage Patch, isn't it? Yep, there's your tag right there, Cabbage Patch Kid. Let's see if she has a year on her. Oh, she's 2015, so she's not too vintage. Well, there was, that was a battery one. All the okay. original oh. ones don't. Like this? Is that one? No, that's zapped creation. It looks like it's supposed to be, like a knockoff probably. What about this one here? Do you have a tag on you? Yeah, look. Cabbage Patch Kids right there. You, this one looks much older than the other one. I was thinking the tag on the other one too was on the outfit. 2009. Oh, was it? Maybe it's Cabbage Patch Kid in clothes from another company. But all the rest of these are just random like babies this one actually looks like a cabbage patch buddy cover that up <laughs> somebody sign his butt cheek or is that the <laughs> way it comes oh no it's on the back of the head his head says 2015 so he's not a vintage or nothing either but yeah we'll put him back in here but definitely keep the actual cabbage patch dolls there look at this little bag here i'm pretty sure these feel like uh metal lunch boxes so no telling what these could be get out of that paw patrol okay, yay yeah. it's nice and wrapped up too can you see it or is it glaring no that's good, that's good. That's good. That's nice. And what about this guy here? Also wrapped up, but I'm gonna take it out so I can see it. This one's just in it to win it. It's not actually like a show or nothing, is it? Oh, it's got a puzzle in it, that's why. Okay, it's cool, still metal lumpture boxes. Here's two like tape shut boxes that just say Dalton's on them. So like I said earlier, I think Dalton had the cool stuff. Whoever Dalton is, he's my guy. Hmm. So let's open All this right, up. All right, Dalton. My man, Dalton. Never met, you ever just been best friend with a guy you never met before? I am, yeah, well, let's see. We do storage and it's pretty common. Yeah, that's true. Plus, all you awesome people watching our videos. Let's rip open one of these bags here. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Not VHSs. Not VHSs. Oh, there's some other stuff in here, too. Like, these are actually still VHSs. But I see some cases here. I don't know if they're DVDs or video games. So I'm going to have to grab a couple. Oh, looks like DVDs. And yeah, this is all. Can you see in there? VHSs with the exception of a couple DVDs. This one also says Dalton's, but... It says bathroom. Last time we found bathroom, we found that whole collection of pipes. So this might be good. Let's see. First, I guess step one is getting into it, huh? Let's see. Oh, I see pictures and stuff. Maybe there are jewelry boxes in this one. There's always a jewelry box in the bathroom. Too. It's always where you find it. Let's see. Okay. So there's something in here actually. Let's see what that is. This is nothing but paper. Makes a lot of sense. A wallet. Is there any money in there? We're gonna find out. No, nothing. What about that center pocket? That's where you find it balled up. No. Are these actual pictures? Yeah. No, these are 
the generic pictures that come in there. They're unused frames. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so that. What about these here? This is need to look over like ASAP. Okay. What do you need to look over like ASAP, buddy? Uh, coupons? When do these coupons expire? 2007, nice. That one's 2009. So just random stuff, toilet seat covers. Uh, yeah, this is nothing good. This is a door stopper. This one's just crap. Is that the drawer box? Oh, is this the drawer box? Oh, come on. Is this the drawer box? No, it's shaving stuff. Is that what this is too? No. Got kind of a basket of stuff here on top. Looks like another cabbage patch, huh? Most definitely. Add into the cabbage patch collection. What about this little purse? That's actually new. Make sure there's nothing inside of it first though. Uh, nah, it's empty. What about here, paperwork? Nothing. Whoa, 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 why is there somebody's head? Uh, <laughs> weird, but okay. I guess normal, we'll say. What about these? They're comics. Oh, these are old comics. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all in bag. Look How at convenient. That. All nice in bag. That is so nice of them. Wow. Do it for me. <laughs> look at let's look at their price tags. Look. Twenty to thirty dollars right there. Twenty-five to thirty. Twenty to thirty. Twenty to thirty. 20 to 30. Nice. Woo! 20 to 30. This must be their whole 20 to 30 section. Now that's 35 to 45. Amazing Spider Man. Okay. Whoa, 20 to 30. This is probably 500 bucks in comics right here. <laughs> Spectacular Spider Man. Look at that. Wolverine. Wow. That's all I can say here. Mm -hmm. That part is a score. Nice. That's just one section of this box. Let's look in the rest over here really quick. Uh, uh, cups. Randomness. Corks. What are these here? Franklin! Franklin. Hey, it's Frank. I remember this Glenn. too. What? No, 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 what? Toad and Friends. Oh, Frog yeah, friends. man. <laughs> These are nostalgic right there. Let's see. Randomness, randomness, cups. I'm going to keep these uh, old school books too. Maybe we'll put them up in whatnot auctions. Actually, you guys let me know in the comments if you want to see some of the vintage books. If so, we'll put them up in auction for you. Uh, cups. This looks like a restaurant cup, doesn't it? Yeah. Nothing else too crazy I'm seeing the rest of it looks mostly like kitchen look at this really old book down here 1933 big little book look at well look at the price on it 100 to 350 dang hold on let's pull out some of these books uh let's see we gotta take their prices into account if they're sellers yeah they're resellers I mean they got an idea of what it's worth what about oh oh let's see what this is right here come here buddy come here I cannot open a bag to save my life when I have gloves on I gotta help that's okay. That looks like a camera, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at the lock mechanism. It's really weird and old. That is an old camera. Nice. That is cool right there. Let's set it here. Now I kind of want to pull out all these. 1996, that have a price? Does not. What about some of these older ones over here? Uh, no price. You can see like they wrote everything of what it is and then left out the price. They mm -hmm. probably didn't look these up yet. So some of those and that oh. one's the same way <laughs> good night moon we have that one that is super cool what a score of a box there now that i moved some clothes out of the way look at this old trunk right here that's gonna be fun let's get this guy oh over here that's a sports illustrator on it yes it does so i gotta be really careful when slicing it because i don't want to slice through a magazine just like that let's see well it's fighting me so we'll go here we'll go here and then ooh, it looks good in there i saw a little bit of a peek let's see oh yeah these are all look at this sports illustrated that are in there look down here they have prices on them again 20 to 30 bucks 30 to 40 bucks on this guy oh my god alan iverson. huh right here yeah this is an old alan iverson one 20 to 30 30 oh that's 40 to 50 there babe that's babe ruth one 1998 babe, babe ruth Nice. 40 to 50 and these like these things could have been in storage for who knows how long 20 to 30 25 and 35 20 to 30 20 to 30 <laughs> 30 to 40 20 to 30 oh my gosh there's probably 30 40 of them there at least 20 bucks a piece that could be like 500 to a grand in that one box see what that says on the side of this box here star, star trek. trek you see what it says on top transformers you know either way i'll be okay but i have a little feeling it's gonna be star trek that's what it looks like oh yes but it's the same way isn't it no it's not these are in there well this i'm not too sure about i'm assuming it's sorted right Ooh. look at this oh, oh, there's the transformers. transformers that's old looking that's in the pack still in there nice these guys oh yeah look nice vintage star trek right there there's two of them still in the package 
That is awesome. Let's see, there's a lot in here too. There's another one, Star Trek. Here is, oh, this is an old magazine. They don't have the price on it though. No, 1992, 1992. That's nice. And then, oh look, there's a little tiny book in there. They didn't price it either, but it's a little Star Trek book. Star Trek figure here. We have another Star Trek. You know what I'm just realizing about them? Oh. They have Kmart price tags on them. That's how you know they're vintage. And then you go down here, these little TV guides are falling out. Look at that. Oh my gosh, TV guides. This, okay, this just brought back a weird <laughs> memory. You ever hear that term where like, back memory you didn't realize you had? That's these right here. You remember getting these? Well, These I remember my grandparents always had them at their house. 1999, 1999, and 1991. These are cool and old. Then we got a little, what is it called? Stormtrooper thing? Yeah. Star Wars. And that's it for this box besides this. I don't know if this goes to that, so we're going to keep it just in case. So all the clothes bags we tossed aside, we also looked through, and most of them been junk, but we did find this nice coach purse right there. There's a little heat stamp serial number it's clean and everything. on the inside, too. Yeah, the inside is very clean. The only problem is... It's got a little bit of just dust right there, but this will come right off with like a wet nap or something, but that's a good find too. And I'm gonna stick it right in the box with all this new Star Trek stuff. You see this box, done in book, kitchen stuff, keep. There's like 40 different notes on it, so I have no idea which one's correct. Let's figure it out right now. Come on, let's see. Open up, yes, yeah, slice and dice. Come on, action figures. We've been finding all these figures and the comics and stuff. I'm waiting to find the Dragon Ball Z stuff. It's gotta be in there somewhere, right? <laughs> somewhere. Let's see. This is actual kitchen stuff. This says need to write in book and put in plastic bags. Okay. <laughs> At least they're like very descriptive. Most labels say like kitchen. This one has like a whole paragraph history on the stuff where it was founded. This does look like in here. Unfortunately, this one is all kitchen stuff. I also found this gorilla crap on a strap and it looks like it has two, um, it looks like it comes with toilet paper. <laughs> two of them actually. Look at this one. K. Johnson on it, 19. Maybe that's how many wipes it's good for, 19. This one here, <laughs> this one's number 80. Well, that's some durable TP right there, but I think that's um, Terrell Owens. I'm just kind of kidding, Cowboys fans. I say kind of because I'm really <laughs> not, but two Cowboys jerseys and the Cowboy back. We'll probably sell this a lot. This box says Hot Wheels 2015, one through 365. Let's see. Oh, whoa, whoa. First off, that's not. These are That's all <laughs> individual wrapped baseball cards. 1987. From, it says 1987, and the first one I see in there says 1986. So uh -huh. we're just gonna say Why? 80s. Put these over here. Whoa! Look, another whole stack. I think that's what these are gonna be. Look, I think the, it says piece one and two wooden heart bathroom. I don't believe you. I'm making sure they're not cards in there. Okay, it's a wooden heart. They're telling the truth. Let's go into here. What is this? Need to be boxed up. What are they though? Like they just have random stuff wrapped up. Pictures, keep. Let's see if they're actual keepsake pictures or not. Let's see, open up you. This says quotable frame for quotable cards. Let's see what that is really quick. Come out, come out, come out. Where do I open it? There it is. There it comes. All right, let's see what it is. Live with intention, walk to the edge, listen hard, practice ball on this, play with abandon, laugh, choose with no regret. It's cringe, but I kind of agree. <laughs> There we go, some more cards here. I'm just gonna set this stuff aside because it just looks like decor pieces. Whoa, look at all these. Wow. This is insane. We're gonna probably keep these together and sell yeah. them as they're wrapped because they gotta be together for some reason, right? So it's like Hot Wheels cards and home decor. Yeah, but look at all the cards, man. We have a lot of cards in here. And they do have a bunch of, these are Matchbox actually, 18 out of 100. But picture, oh, that says mommy. This one, look at all these. How many cards do you think are in here? Probably 25, 20 at least, I'd say. Definitely a good amount of cards in here. And again, definitely money. Let's go to the next. Oh my gosh, this box is heavy right here. Let's see, let's see. There's Legos on it. It does. It's the one that I wanted to get to earlier. It says balls, banks, bike stuff, Legos, Legos, truck. All of that beauty. Everything. Okay, this one's really tape too compared to others too so i'm kind of curious all right the first thing i see is like one of those beading things like you make necklaces with that okay let's just put this aside this here this looks almost like a freaking police radio doesn't it what does it say something in cords something in cords all right it looks like a police radio to me what do we have in the winnie the pooh box that looks old but it's sealed what is it pooh and friends oh it's a frame you see it right there 
It's like a Winnie the Pooh frame. We'll set that over here. This is just random. Ooh, I see Cambridge Silversmiths. This is a, let's see, Simplicity Collection um, Fine Stainless. Why is it made by the Silversmith if it's just stainless? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a bit lying. Hey look, 360 Connect there. That's what that is. Put that over here. There's a bunch of frames in here. Bags, bags. Frames. Where's all the Legos and stuff? There's um, personal pictures. We'll make sure they get back. That's handles and cords. Let's see. You see this right here? Mm -hmm. That's going to be interesting. We'll go in a second. But what else is over here? This box here, smart home. It's empty. What are these? These are power banks. Okay. Yeah, and these are all just frames. None of the stuff that was in there is what it says. Let's go to this one here. Come here. What is that? It's a stethoscope. A little stethoscope and a blood pressure machine. So maybe somebody was a doctor at some point. We moved a bunch of garbage out of the way. We got some cool stuff on the side. First of all, look at this inbox RC car, RC Baja, USB charge. So that's pretty cool. Damaged box, but if you're gonna play with it anyway, it's gonna go in the trash. Let's see what's in this box. It said dolls and I'm curious to see if it's accurate. Let's see, come here you. Oh yeah, look at this. Nice doll in the plastic. Looks like definitely porcelain. Her face looks porcelain. Mm -hmm. Let's see. This one is another one. Porcelain doll in there. So we usually get like 10 bucks or so for these. These are pretty good. There's another one. That's three. This, is that a doll? I don't know what this is. Come here. It's doll excess. And that's a no, little one. Uh, that's very questionable. I, very I questionable. Singing. Okay. Okay. Mine in the gutter. Sorry. Doll. 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 So this whole box here is actually all full of porcelain dolls. So that's pretty cool. We'll put them back in here and scoot it aside. And let's go. Look at this box. This one's pretty obvious what's in it because you can see it when I found it. But the amount of cars in here, Fast and Furious, one, two, three. Like I can't even tell you how many Fast and Furious cars are in here. A couple. Oh, look at that little Hot Wheel. Look at the colors on that. What year do you think that's from? 2018. But definitely looks pretty cool. As you can see in here, that whole box, besides this one scratch left for some reason, please, please get out. This whole box is full of nothing cars. Then if we come this way, violin case. I've been waiting to open it with you guys. Let's see if we got it. It feels right. But it, oh, it's got no strings. It's a violin with no strings. I don't know if that's easy to replace or if that kills the entire value. I never played violin or brand any instrument anywhere? stuff. It's pretty beat up right here. You can't really there's, see. There's something on the inside. I don't know if you'd be able to read it though. Because mm. I mean, if the brand's good, somebody could redo it. Yeah, they could probably just redo it. We'll put it aside just in case. And then if you come over here, this bag is actually a mix of two things we found. What have we found a ton of? Paw Patrol and cars. So it was only a matter of time before we found Paw Patrol cars. And there's one, two, three, four, five of those guys all together. And the other thing I set aside, because it looked like a Cabbage Patch Kid, but it was different. It's called a Sunshine Kid. You see that? Doesn't it look like it's Cabbage Patch? A little bit. But yeah, it's definitely old, definitely vintage, and it was in a bag like this. So if you've ever seen those or know what they're worth, let us know in the comments. Let's take these little side tables out and see what's inside of one of these. There's two of these stacked on top of each other. Ugh. Definitely feel like there's something in there. Let's go inside. Ooh, I see dolls. That cards too? It is cards. Okay. So, and lottery. Uh, yay, lottery tickets. These are, what does this say? Had something spilt on cars needs to be taken the time to get. It doesn't look like anything no, spilt no, on it too. They look really clean. Here's some more cards, baseball. Let's see the dolls. Classic treasures. Ooh, I see a bunch of cars in there. <laughs> I see oh, it. snap. Inbox, yes, ma'am. Well, this, some mushrooms. This, this one's a nice one. She's pretty high. Her box is a little beat up, but the doll itself is still in good shape. I'm gonna put it right on top. Is that Elvis? Oh, uh, thank you very much. Nice. Elvis still in box. I bet you he's worth something for real. Yeah. Elvis fans are crazy. Oh, there's cars in here. Oh, this is about to be cool. First off, look at this little, M or not NBA, I was about to say NBA, NASCAR. It's like 1994. The things you put on the table at a restaurant. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. There's a bunch of receipts in here too. You see this? Mm -hmm. But underneath the plethora of receipts, there's a ton of inbox cars. I mean, ton of Hot Wheels. What year are these from? About the same. I see in 2013. These are a little older than the last ones. Some of the box. Matchbox and everything. So that's cool. We'll separate that, obviously. Then we get the lottery tickets out the way. By the way, I just realized that car right there is a rookie card for that guy. That's cool. Let's get this out. 
Oh yeah, look. Look at all these cars right here. These are like the, what do you call it, metal one, die cast, that are still in there. That one, that's in a yeah. case. Can't really see it. Can you see the number? No, I'll get it out in a second. But look at these old guys in box. One, two, three, four, five. This, uh, what is it? Pit row, race cars. This right here, that's another car, number Kevin 29. Harvick. Okay, that's 32. And what are these guys right here? You mm. see that? I don't know what that is. It looks like wrench? maybe wrenches. I don't know. And some random metal tools. I'm definitely going to keep them aside. Let's get the other one of these. Hey, oh my gosh, this one now. Uh, it's like twice the weight of the last one. Hercules. Hercules broke my back. <laughs> that All right. That's Ooh. what. That's Are what. Cool? Oh, no. Oh, okay, there's God. something in there though. I'm telling you, my back knows. Check out this really sick Dallas Cowboys clock. That is pretty cool. Like a wood, actually. You look at the bat, it's actual wood. But that's really cool. We've got a stack of records here. And it looks like most of them are in there. I think they had a sticky notes on a couple. It said like if it was missing one record or something like, yeah, like this. Maybe that's missing one info. record. That's what I'm saying. These guys don't write like record labels. They, rec they write like everything. Mm -hmm. Look at that. There you go. So a bunch of records in here. This box here, full of old books again. Like you see, like Club Penguin, that's not old. Mm -hmm. Neither is the Smurfs. Okay, maybe these ones aren't too old, but there are some old books in here. Like, look at this guy. Let's see if he can give us a label. Of course he did. 1940 Hayes, complete with authoritative book of games, autograph edition. Mm. Whoa. So that might definitely be worth some money. This is a Disney one. 1996 first edition bedtime story. Lots of cool books there. This is probably one of the coolest thing I've seen. Look at this. This is old freaking US postage stamp machine. I guess you put a quarter in there and you can buy stamp one or two. And the crazy thing is that there might be stamps in there or money in there. Listen. So I think there might be, that sounds like money to me, but obviously There's, I'm not going to break it. Where's the set of keys you found earlier? That, it was not for that. It okay. said brink on it or Never something mind. like that. But that is probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a storage unit there. Definitely awesome. Fine there. And now the baseball cards that were in the table, we we're going to show you before people started showing up and talking to us. And then we had to stop the video and <laughs> talk to them, but we had to take the stuff out. There's a little thing with card or a doll in it. These are all cards. As you can see binder here. What about this guy? Nothing. This, uh, these you can see came out of somewhere. Who are these? Are country, country music singers? people, country music trading cards. I'll trade you a Toby Keith for uh, Jason Aldean. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Collector's album. Is there anything in here? Nope. Why are they okay. stored like that? It's kind of strange. Maybe okay. because they stick together. Maybe. Under the here heat. we go. This one is full of, it looks like NBA cards. Yeah, these are older too. Let's see. Oh, they're stored back to back, so I can't really check the date on them. So, but if anyone knows, let us know. They look like older NBA cards for sure. Let's put that guy over here. This one looks full again, I think. Yeah, these are motorcycles. Hmm. Whoa, Motor Harley, Davidson. Harley Davidson motorcycle cards. That's sick. Coming to an auction near you. <laughs> this, oh, these are old Disney. Look at that, that's Minnie Marvel. Mouse, Marvel. Whoa, Disney. that is sick. I bet you those are really valuable actually. What about this big binder? Oh, that one is empty, just sleeves. See the smile on my face, you know why? Well, it's because we found some deadlocks here, right? These yeah. are brand new and there's two new tablets. That's all there is to smile about, right? Wrong. You're lying. Come here. Move some junk. And do you see what I see right there? That is a freaking safe. And we're about to bust it open next time. So make oh. sure you're subscribed and come back.